All right, welcome ladies and gents. So this is like a follow-on video from the last one I've just done. But it, it's just a representation of mainstream media on a whole and their tackling of these subjects. Now the subject matter and the title is obviously referencing what we're talking about, which is Lord of the Rings Rings of Power. It's claimed that there's a bunch of racist backlash. There isn't. Now, I'm not going to say that there isn't absolutely none, but not article worthy, right? It's just not. You know, the millions of people that have watched it, you're talking like a 0.00% that will be doing a racist backlash. Genuinely, not article worthy. The fact that they're giving this a time of day is a misdirect. It's just trying to misdirect away from the fact that this is a piss poor program. And, you know, people's very, very justified commentary about Tolkien's reasoning for creating certain things and having certain things laid out in a certain way. That's just a misdirect. They're just like, ah, it's racism. It's not. It's just petty and sad. So, this I thought was interesting to talk about, right? A racist backlash to Rings of Power puts Tolkien's legacy into focus. Now, what are they going to say here, right? A Lord of the Rings series inclusive casting has sparked social media vitriol from those who insist J.R.R. Tolkien intended Middle Earth to be populated by white characters only. Yet this belief is not only faulty, it misses the spirit of the author entirely, writes the Hollywood Reporter contributor Richard Newby. Right, well, let's see then, shall we? Let's see what utter drivel this individual is going to write. For a time, it seemed as though a great shadow had passed over the world and then fainted. Still present, though not quite as ominous, there were those who could confidently believe they were seeing progress. A fantasy, perhaps, but not one without value, yet... There were those who sought the cover of that shadow to hide from their own insecurities, failings, uselessness. Just as it just wait for what they're going to line this up with. Uh, they could not conceive of endless potential of progress. Miserable little trolls left stewing in their own ugly ignorance and hatred, who sought regression but proved too incompetent to succeed, even when emboldened by the lies of their weakened leader. I could very easily be discussing Middle Earth, but I'm not. That's it, ladies and gents. Have you got an issue with the, uh, you know, casting of certain things? You're a sniveling, miserable tr troll. Uh, apparently incompetent as well. Oh dear, this is not how you get people on side. All right. What I'm discussing is our very real world, and the social media is an extension of that world. For the past week, I've been bombarded with messages of hate called the N word told to go back to Africa, and called on to be executed. The reason? The Lord of the Rings. It would almost be laughable if it wasn't so profoundly sad. Again, I'm, this might be happening, but it's not to the degree that it's worth an article. Like This is just one person's very small interaction with the world, and you're on the internet. Like, the internet's an awful place. All right? like, you know, I did my pretty restrained, calm review yesterday. I had some pleb in the comments going, Oh, mate! You you got you just you hate because roids. You got to be angry, and that'll get you some more roids. It's okay that I'm bigger than you. It's fine. Like I don't. Someone's aesthetic doesn't mean anything to me. I don't care that I'm bigger than you. You shouldn't care that I'm bigger than you. It's okay. Calm down. Like it's fine. <laughs> you know, I could say the most calm thing in the world, and the most random little turtle pop up. Don't mind me. Chill, mate. Calm your, calm your tits. But this is just the internet for you, right? You just have to get on with it. A uh, wealth of stories and a willingness to believe in wizards, balrogs, giant spiders, and magical swords. And here we go. But allow people of colour to exist in Middle-earth. No, but this is the thing. They did exist in Tolkien's world. But they weren't in Middle-earth. Because Middle-earth is Europe and, and England, right? Middle-earth was... Where do you think the Shires came from? It is England. And it's a specific time period in England. There is a reason for it. Oh, should we just... Again, and people go, Oh, well, you know, it's fine, it's fantasy. Oh, well, let's make Black Panther bloody white then. And that seems to be the go-to. And people are like, Yeah, but there's a reason. Yeah, there's a reason for this as well, ladies and gents. Well, that is an affront to all that's good and decent. Uh, at least that's the primary argument for those ruinous trolls apparently review bombing and harassing fans of colour. Over Amazon's Rings of Powers series. Rings of Powers? Hey, you can't even get the name right in your own nonsense article. 
I've been a fan of JRR Tolkien's world for almost as long as I can remember. Okay, fine. There you go. Done. You're a fan already. You didn't need to see yourself, did you? Did you? You didn't need it changed exponentially, did you? No. Where's the argument to changing it then? You you are a fan, right? <sighs> I grew up watching Rankins and Bass's The Hobbit and The Return of the King uh, when it was time for school book fairs. I was in the class early, uh, Doctor of Tolkien's works. Not just The Hobbit, Lord of the Rings, but The Silmarillion, Unfinished Tales and The History of Middle-earth. I did my fifth grade biography report on C.S. Lewis and his friendship with Tolkien when Ralph Bakshi's The Lord of the Rings uh, was re-released on VHS. My mom took me to the store to buy it. So, literally, everything in everything in this entire paragraph is a reason as to why this individual should be against it. But they're not. Oh, no, there's more. There's more. And then here we go. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. So why shouldn't I be able to feel the joy of seeing someone who resembles me within Middle Earth? What makes me less deserving of this pop culture heritage? You're a fan already, dickhead. Like, why do you need to see it? You said you were a fan. I say all this not to cast myself as an expert on all things Middle Earth, but to paint the picture that this world of fantasy is an inherent part of me, uh, as key to my makeup as DNA. Right then, ladies and gents. So where's the argument that you must see yourself? This is inherently part of you. It's part of your DNA. But let's change it all. Because it's not good enough anyway. For goodness sake. And why shouldn't you see yourself? Because you don't have to see yourself in everything. Like, you know, I don't have to sit... Like, when I'm watching... Probably a bad example, really. But if I like watching something of Vikings... I get it, like, I've got dark hair and blue eyes. But if I'm watching something of Vikings... Like, I don't inherently need to see something that looks just like me... I just don't, right? I, I can enjoy stuff. I'm watching, like, American stuff. I'm watching, like... I don't need... Like, I'm watching Egyptian stuff. They don't look like me. I'm watching African stuff. They don't look like me. I can enjoy it. You know? Like, when I don't... I... What? It's, a, it's a weird. This is a very American thing. And sadly, we've imported it over here. But it's a very American thing. That your very being and soul is intrinsically linked to the media you consume. What a sad life. But also, like I said, just these these two are... Th literally two paragraphs just stating why, actually, you shouldn't have to see yourself. Because you're a fan. Now, at this point, I've heard every argument in the book against why cast members... Uh, Lenny Henry, Ishmael, Cruz, Cordova, Nazanin, Boniadi, Sarah, whatever, 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 whatever. Shouldn't play Harfets, elves, dwarves, or even humans in the Middle Earth where Amazon series is set. The most common ref refrain is that Tolkien didn't include people of colour in his stories. Not only is that untrue, as Harfets is described as having a browner skin, uh, but Tolkien didn't often make a point to describe skin colour, though he occasionally leaned on the open-ended fairer than. But he did, though, because the people from the East were dark. That's that's Tolkien's world. Yet there remains the idea that because Tolkien sought to create an English mythology, that he intended Middle-earth to be comprised only of white people. Like, it is an English mythology, and it would have been around... Like, it, there is... It's not... It's not... <sighs> The, the idea remains because it's true. And that's fine. But they say this ignores the individuals of colour who have populated England throughout history and that the first modern Britons had dark skin based on DNA evidence taken from the Cheddar Man, a 10,000-year-old skeleton discovered in 1903. What utter nonsense is this you're bringing into this argument? Well, Tolkien must have known about the Cheddar Man and the fact that he was first modern Britain and he had dark skin so Tolkien should have known that and uh, yeah again that that's modern Britain that's not an English there's a difference here English mythology so that represents English culture and the English culture you know did have a certain ethnicity to at a certain point in time that Tolkien could have seen around him now, yeah of course there would have been other people 
But you also got to remember like where Tolkien was from and things like that. And the sort of population that he would have grown up with wasn't what it was today. He wouldn't have seen many at all. You know, he would have literally just seen probably white people. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. The sort of lambasting of people's... Like, all you're doing here is co-opting someone's history, right? This is a great representation of Tolkien's own personal history with England, which has just been co-opted. But again, this kind of nonsense, and there's more here, like, I'm not going to get into it. We could just dissect this for hours. But the same point comes down to it at the end of the day is that you've literally... Okay, yeah, there's a tried and true argument. If people of colour should make their own stories instead of inserting themselves in existing worlds, which again, presumes that we don't already exist within those worlds. You did, but not in Middle-earth, because that's... In again, you did, but you didn't. And that they would support those stories if we did. But my favourite, which has been spat at me numerous times, if these projects weren't trying to force diversity and wokeness, then these actors wouldn't have to deal with the racism. Really, they're the ones being used. If you didn't exist, if you didn't have that skin you had, you wouldn't have to suffer abuse, is basically what, what he's trying to equate it to. No, not at all. But, you know, actors are relatively smart, kind of. They will know full well why they're being hired for certain things, especially when those actors have actually come out and said it. Anyway, this is a nonsense uh, article read by someone who has perpetual victim syndrome. Uh, and he's got, you know, Tolkien's legacy is that, again, it's an English mythology. Right? To say that, well, modern Britain had a 10,000 year old bloody dark skinned man is just such bollocks to your argument. And, you know, the thing about this is, it's not to say, like, Tolkien's world did have people of colour in it. Like, it did have them, but they were from the East. They weren't. They weren't in Middle Earth, and they weren't in Middle Earth for a reason, because it didn't represent the world that Tolkien grew up with. And there's nothing that you, that's that's fine, like that's okay. We have modern stories depicting modern England. Is that not enough? Can we not have something else that represents an older, you know, a fantastical mytholo mythological representation of older Britain? Why can't you have that as well? Seems odd to sit there and tout yourself as a huge fan when you're so willing to change something that you were apparently a fan of.